Hey guys and welcome to the highest ergonomics build for the SVDS. This is going to be based off the one that you get from Prepper at tier 3 for 90k. So to start off we're going to need to head over to Skier. We're going to need to go to tier 2 and grab ourselves the RK3 pistol grip. Now we're going to need to head over to Peacekeeper. We need to go to tier 4 and grab ourselves these 4 to shift foregrip. Now we need to head over to Mechanic. We're going to need to go to tier 3. We're going to need to grab ourselves the Strike Industries Key Mod 6 inch guide. And then we're going to need to grab ourselves the SVDS Dust Cover. As well as grab ourselves the SAG MK1 chassis. Now, this is everything you need for the build. And here you go, this is the lowest, oh sorry, highest ergonomics build for the SVDS. One of the reasons why you'd want a high ergonomics build is if you have two sights on the gun. You can switch between them pretty decently. If you head over to Peacekeeper Tier 2, you can grab yourself the NC Star um, 45 backup mount. And with this, it means that you can put a canted sight on the gun. Obviously with the Bravo, you can put the sight on the top. But if you're not running the Bravo and you're running an other, a, another type of uh, sight on the rear sight, you can actually put a canted sight on this, which is absolutely decent. So if we head over into the hideout, one of the benefits of having a canted sight on an SVDS, obviously with the Bravo, you can have it on the top. But with the canted sight, you can quickly switch between both sights really decently. So this is pretty good for uh, maps looking like interchange and those kind of things where suddenly someone's going to pop their head out close range and, you know, say hi when you don't want them to. But yeah, this is the benefit of having a high ergonomics gun. Also, as we're ADS and down sight, you can see that the stamina is going down really slow. It obviously is going down, but is still pretty decent. With DMRs you want high ergonomics builds and there you go. Let's see how the recoil pattern is for this gun. Obviously you're not here for the recoil with the ergonomics builds but let's see how it is. It obviously has the initial kick that every gun in Tarkov has but then it all kind of just situates all in one area. Let's try this again from a distance crouched. As you can see, that initial kick threw it up. We actually went over twice and then everything else kind of calmed down and made like a weird smiley face on this body. So guys, hopefully you find this gun useful, especially with a high ergonomics build. This is going to be a pretty juicy gun. Just because you have a lot quicker for ADS time, especially at distance, and switching between both of the uh, both of the sites. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, this gun will bring you some decent amount of kills. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.